Uh, I'm very happy and honored uh, to be attending and representing OIC in this uh, very important uh, uh, conference uh, and a very important topic. Uh, Professor uh, Zaliha Kamaruddin, uh, Dean Professor uh, uh, Abdulaziz Barghout, Professor Amira Bwang, uh, Professor Aziz Al Hibri, uh, and uh, Professor Rahma Osman. Uh, Assalamu alaikum uh, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is indeed my honor to represent the uh, General Secretariat of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and this uh, international e-conference uh, co-organized by the OIC and the International Islamic uh, University in Malaysia on Islam and gender equity, theories, applications, and challenges in the 21st century. And um, uh, I was very uh, um, impressed by uh, the lineup of the topics and the speakers, uh, mashallah, as uh, presented by uh, uh, Professor Zaleh. Uh, I would like to express the OIC General Secretariat's deep appreciation to the International Institute of Islamic Thought and Civilization uh, of OIM for the kind initiative. I also welcome the representatives of OIC member states, OIC organs and institutions, and international, regional, and local organizations who grace this uh, conference in confirmation of their interest and commitment to gender equity and equality and women empowerment in the Muslim world. I avail myself of this good occasion to express my deep and sincere gratitude to Professor uh, Datu Siri Dr. Zaleh Hagamardin, convener of the International Isla Institute of Islamic Thought and Civilization, for her efforts and initiative in organizing this important conference to discuss the concepts and understandings of gender equity from an Islamic perspective. I also extend my sincere thanks to the members of her team uh, for their efforts in organizing this event. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, women have uh, contributed immensely to the Islamic community throughout the history of the Muslim world. Countless women throughout the world have dedicated their lives as true engines of development for their communities within, within opportunity-rich and barrier-free environments. There are now more and more women holding key roles and leading institutions, governments, parliaments, governmental and non-governmental organizations and bodies, including political and ministerial posts. Despite considerable progress, some women in the member states still face dire economic and social conditions. There is need for effective solutions to the urgent and pressing challenges and sufferings this group of women endure at all levels. The issues of women empowerment ad and advancement, including eliminating all forms of violence and discrimination against women and girls in order to reduce inequalities between men and women pursuant to Islamic values of social justice and, so and gender equity uh, and equal gender equality are a priority for the OIC in accordance with its charter and the resolutions adopted by its summits and ministerial conferences. In this context, the OIC Ministerial Conference on Women in its second session held in Cairo in 2008, adopted the OIC Plan of Action for the Advancement of Women, OPAO, an innovative approach that articulates the OIC member states' commitment to addressing a range of challenges faced by women. The OIC was keen to treat OPAO as a live document within the member states' collective efforts to improve the status of women in the Muslim world. Within this framework, and to reflect developments and new challenges faced by women, an amended version of OPAO and the mechanisms to implement it was adopted in 2016 at the sixth OIC Ministerial Conference on Women in Member States held in Istanbul. Since the adoption of the amended version of OPAO, the General Secretariat has taken steps to follow up on its implementation, including activities carried out in coordination with the relevant organs and institutions. At the 7th OIC Ministerial Conference on Women held in Burkina Faso in December 2018, 
the guidelines for preparing, drafting, and submitting progress reports on implementing OPA was adopted to assist, guide, and follow up with the member states on the implementation of OPA. In coordination with CISRIC, the General Secretariat held a training course on the use of the guidelines with the participation of national institutions dealing with women empowerment issues in the OIC member states and experts from the OIC relevant organs. Based on the national progress reports on the implementation of APAO received from several OIC member states, CISRIC has prepared the OIC Women and Development Report 2021, which includes a comprehensive review of the progress made by the member states in implementing the APAO and in the field of women's empowerment, which I think you will be hearing about this uh, from, uh, from uh, CISRIC, uh, uh, Dr. Tim. Uh, uh, during this, uh, this conference. Uh, the eighth OIC Ministerial Conference on Women held last month in Cairo uh, in uh, July 2021 discussed the ways to, the, to establish a steering committee to review those reports and called for holding an intergovernmental expert group meeting to finalize the administrative and financial rules of this committee. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to adopting the OPAO and the mechanisms for implementing it and the procedures to follow up on the implementation, other mechanisms and initiatives were adopted to enhance the efforts for the advancement of the women. The sixth OIC Ministerial Conference on Women in Member States, held in 2016, has established an OIC Women Consultative Council to work as an advisory mechanism and propose policy recommendations on issues relating to the empowerment and advancement of women in the framework of the conference. Since its establishment, the OIC WCC held six ordinary meetings and an extraordinary virtual meeting in June 2020 on the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic on women and girls in the member states as well as joining the OIC General Secretariat in holding an interactive virtual symposium on the role of women in promoting peace and security, in which the participants from the OIC's three geographical groups, Asian, African, and Arab, presented their contributions regarding UN Security Council Resolution 1325 on the engagement of women in the promotion of peace and security. Also among the WCC's proposals and contributions to women empowerment is drafting an OIC gender policy, which was presented last month at the OIC Ministerial Conference on Women in Cairo, which I think you will also be uh, hearing about uh, uh, in this uh, conference. And I'm mentioning these examples about the role of women and the participation of women in, in peace and security and uh, how coronavirus uh, pandemic affected women and girls to also put that into the perspective of gender equity and equality and how these issues affect women differently uh, and how women uh, uh, are engaged or react um, uh, uh, to these issues. Furthermore, the Council of Foreign Ministers <clears throat> and its 40, uh, 44th and 45th sessions held respectively in 2017 in Abidjan and 2018 in Dhaka called for the establishment of the OIC Awards on Women Achievement in appreciation of their initiatives and to strengthen the role in the process of comprehensive development in the member states. The OIC Women Consultative Council was mandated as the selecting committee to advise the ministerial conference on shortlisted award nominations and the winners. The first edition of this award was granted during the seventh OIC Ministerial Conference uh, in uh, Burkina Faso in 2018, and the second edition was organized during the eighth conference in Egypt. Ladies and gentlemen, in its efforts for gender equity and equality and women empowerment in the Islamic world, the OIC has established the Women Development Organization, headquartered in Egypt, as a specialized body concerned with women advancement. The OIC relies heavily on the newly established institution to play a pivotal role in its efforts to empower women and activate their role in the development process in the member states. 
Furthermore, the eighth session of the OIC Ministerial Conference on Women uh, held in Cairo under the theme Preserving the Achievements of Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment in Light of the COVID-19 Pandemic and Beyond has issued recommendations and adopted resolutions calling on OIC member states and OIC relevant organs and institutions to consolidate efforts and enhance joint Islamic action and cooperation to achieve the following. <clears throat> Women protection and empowerment in member states for adaptation and recovery during the pandemic and exceptional circumstances. Ensuring sustainability of gains in women's empowerment and gender equality in OIC member states. Mainstreaming gender equality perspective in COVID-19 strategies. Promoting women's empowerment directing religious and media discourse towards portion and promotion of women's rights, coordinating gender equality mainstreaming throughout the OIC system, and joint action to support, empower the refugee and displaced women. In conclusion, we, need, we indeed hope this conference will offer an opportunity to discuss efforts for positive and effective ways to handle women empowerment issues, including gender equity within Islamic values and principles, in order to live up to the aspirations of those women who continue to suffer from marginalization, poverty, domestic violence, and abuse. Thank you for attending.